us fresh bread today. Give us fresh bread today. We are hungry. We want fresh bread today. Not yesterday's bread. We are hungry for more. We are hungry something new. Oh, we are hungry for more of you. Oh, we are hungry for something new. We are hungry for more of you. We are hungry for something new. We are hungry for more of you.
pressure's off, pressure's off, and your friends everything to your eyes see me now now you smile and are you proud I believe you are this changes everything to your eyes see me now are you smile and are you proud I believe you are this changes everything your eyes see me now. Are you smiling? Are you proud? I believe you are. This changes everything. Is your heart so full you can't contain it? Waves are crashing over me. I feel so safe, I can't explain it. Peace and joy abound in me. The love inside of you is so pure, so right. It fills all heaven.
goodness, full of mercy. We can never get enough. Oh, God of grace, great God of love. We've seen the way you goodness full of mercy oh, we can never get enough great God of grace great God of love let the weight of your glory
As we draw near to you, just as we draw near to you, oh God, the nations will draw near to our love. The nations will draw near to our love.
Are you smiling? Are you proud? I believe you are. This changes everything. Do your eyes see me now? Are you smiling? Are you proud? I believe you are. This changes everything. Do your eyes see me now? Are you smiling? Are you proud? I believe you are. This changes everything.
Lord, you are our shepherd and we shall not want. You make us lie down in green pastures and lead us beside still waters. You restore our souls. You lead us in path of righteousness for your name's sake. Even though we walk through the valley of shadow and death, we will fear no evil for you are with us, your rod and your staff. They comfort us. You prepare a table before us in the presence of my enemies. You anoint our heads with oil and our cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll now transition into a time of intercession, and today we'll be lifting up the youth of Israel. I believe it's crucial for us to pray for the youth as they're the future of this nation. I invite you to follow with your own intercession after my prayer for each topic. Father, it is written that the foundation of your throne is righteousness and justice. These are also what you have commanded households to teach their children and youth so that, they may so that you may fulfill your promises to us. We pray that these teachings will not fall to the ground, but that the youth will take everything to heart. We pray that their hearts will break for the things that break yours. May money, success, and prestige be secondary to obeying your commandments. And may they also extend mercy like the Good Samaritan. Let the fear of the Lord come upon this generation so that they are marked and set apart. Let's pray. Jesus, you are the one who has come in the image of man to take on the sins of the world, reconcile the forsaken, and give eternal life to those who you call. 
Prophecies regarding your birth, death, and resurrection are written all throughout the Old Testament. We pray that as the youth study the word, the spirit of truth and revelation will come upon them to highlight and reveal the true Messiah. Touch their tender hearts and speak to them so that they become familiar to your voice. We also pray that the youth will be disciplined in meditating on the word because of the adoration and passion they have. Let them discover you who is the word, God. Let's pray. God, we declare that every Jewish youth in and out of Israel are created in your image. They are fearfully and wonderfully made with great purpose and destiny. Not one of them are a mistake and you love them. They are not forgotten or hopeless. We pray that they will know their true identity and not be defined by the world. Let boldness arise from within and we break all fear of failure in the name of Jesus. We break all shame and guilt in the name of Jesus. May this generation of youth be equipped to become leaders who are filled with compassion and humility. May their hearts not be filled with a desire for worldly success, but be filled with a desire to serve others. Let's pray.
Lord, you have taught us to make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit, for the very nature of the Trinity is unity. In you there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave or free, there is no male or female. We break every wall and obstacle of division between different youth groups in the Jewish culture. Instead, we pray that our supernatural unity will bridge the differences. We also break any false mindset that has been passed down to the youth, and declare that you are raising up a new generation of youth who are filled with the Holy Spirit, of one mind and heart, rare like precious oil and good and pleasing in your sight. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you're calling a new generation of youth to rise up and shine. Father, to see your glory at this moment. Father, we pray for all those you have called, God, that they will encounter you, God, that they'll hear your voice and respond to your voice. Father, we pray a grace and protection over them. And Father, we declare that you love them and you have great plans for them. Father, we thank you that you love the youth, God, and that you are for them. We thank you, Lord. We lift all these things up in your precious name. Amen.
Lord, we thank you that there is no end. There is no end to your love, your unconditional love. And that you've put your life 
upon us and within us. And you've called us to shine. You've called us to arise and shine and be full display for your glory. Lord, we ask you to take us deeper into these truths. Take us deeper into your word, into our love, into our adoration and passion for your word. You're so kind to us, God. And we pray all of these things.